Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to take you somewhere that you've never been before. I've shown you very brief little glimpses of this place, but it is not pretty. And that is my garage. There is just an insane amount of clutter and crap in there of fish stuff that I've been collecting. Uh, we've had roommates come and go and all their stuff somehow manages to end up in the garage, all the stuff they leave over. Uh, there's so much stuff down there that it's it's kind of overwhelming, but I do got to clean it up because we're putting racks in down there. We're going to get ready to sell fish, uh, ship fish, that sort of thing. So it's just got to be done. And uh, this is definitely the dark side of multiple tank addiction. There is stuff down there that I haven't even seen or used in years. And I don't know why I still have it, but I keep telling myself maybe someday I'll need that. And uh, it's time to just throw a lot of it away. This video is probably going to be insanely boring for you guys, but maybe you'll see something fun. I don't really know what else I can say about this, except that I hope other people have rooms or spaces like this with just a lot of fish junk collecting. I don't know, maybe it would make me feel better, but <laughs> let's go take a look. All right, so here we are. I just There's no way to even sugarcoat this. Here we have the 240. This is my half of the garage all right here. So we have the 240. This is a free 90 gallon that I just got recently. I have the sump down here with all the jungle valve that I got from Fish Tank Barn. Thank you, Mike. I keep my crickets out here. They're in here. I'll turn over one of these for you guys. There you go. Tons of crickets. You get the idea. Just threw that spinach in there this morning for them. And then I keep that in there just for some ventilation. We've got some isopods out here as well. And go through these pretty quickly these are all new species that i've gotten these guys are really cool uh, what else do we got in here uh looks like some yellow dot can we find one? Oh, right here in front of us you can see why they're called yellow dot uh, that one is not being used here we have dairy cow if we can find one there we go there's already babies of these, so pretty neat. Watch out, you're gonna get squished. Quickly go through these. Um, these guys are monsters, look at these guys. And then, sorry guys, I don't know the names of these offhand. My label maker ran out of uh, paper, so I wasn't able to label these yet. They're all written down inside. All right, so that's basically what we got right here. This empty little lonely spot right here is where the bike goes. Then we got the first rack here. Uh, what do we got down here? We got some acrylic tanks down here. Another acrylic tank. Uh, that's all stuff. We can get that without the glare that I use to make my paludariums, terrariums. It's peat moss, uh, uh, worm casting uh, dirt sphagnum moss and then a bunch of random crap all the way up here we're gonna come back here got my luggage uh, just buckets full of random stuff and then tanks 10 gallon right there 10 gallon 10 gallon 10 gallon 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 uh, what is this so we got a 10 gallon a 20 gallon long 10 gallon uh, the whole back row back there is 10 gallons. We have uh, an APC, another one. I didn't even know that was back there. That's a big one too. Uh, more acrylic tanks here. Already plumbed, ready to go. Acrylic tanks down there. A refrigerator. Some lumber. Uh, another bin of various stuff. We come over to this other rack. Oh, looks like we got a couple bins of DVDs up there. Both of those boxes have fish crap in them. Uh, that's a really old, nasty tent. Then we have my backpacking tent for overnight. Just uh, tarps. More tanks. This is a 37-gallon, 20-gallon. Probably should replace that battery soon. Box full of stuff. Uh, I really love basketball. So there's my basketballs. Uh, marina hang on back. Or, or uh, breeder box. A 40-gallon here. This is the one that I chipped on accident and chip is right here maybe yeah bang that corner we got more five gallon buckets full of rocks heaters more tubs there 
uh, totes there, 20 long, uh, another 20 long up here, which I'm thinking we're going to be using the 20 longs for shrimp. Got another 20 long right here, and then uh, those two boxes. Maybe I'll show you those two boxes, but maybe not. A corner of my bike and some other random crap. So this is basically my half of the garage, and this is what we're going to be going through cleaning out. Uh, I'm really curious to see what we're going to find in these boxes, though. And then we're going to rearrange things a little bit to uh, set these tanks up and get ready for my first wholesale shipment. But I wanted to go through these boxes with you. I think it could be kind of fun. You never know what we're going to find. I mean, I've got stuff inside fish tanks. We've got lights. Like, I don't even know why. Why do I even have this light? Like, I'm never going to use this light ever. But I still have it. I just didn't get rid of it. What do we got in here? I think my bags are in this one. Yep, here's all my bags. Seacam bags. I probably won't use these to ship fish. I'm going to order in a bunch of breather bags. I think that's the way to go. Looks like some sandpaper in there. But uh, let's say we crack open our first box here. Let's look at this one here. Got rid of the basketballs. Let's see what we can find. So it looks like a top two, that top fin tank that I made, that Halloween betta fish that I had that I gave away. So we made our own top. So this is trash. Toss it over there. This, okay guys. So this is my CD case from high school. From high school, guys. So I don't I don't even know that I want to open this. Um, oh, it's not my CD case. That's my resume. And my, hey, there's my uh, diploma there. There's my college diploma right there. All right. Well, good. Now I don't have to be embarrassed about high school music. I don't know that I'll ever need that diploma for anything. Uh, Ziploc bags for shipping plants. When I used to do that, same with all these cups right here. I used to uh, use these as like uh, little planters. What else we got in here? Airline. Ooh, I'm going to need this for the fish room redo or for the garage setup, I should say. So let's throw this aside. Why don't we just... Put it in that fish tank. All right. All right. So is this actually in here? Yeah, that's brand new. Uh, might have been open, but it's all in there. We might need that as well. Throw that over there. Look at this rock. This is taller than a five-gallon bucket. I don't know what I would ever use that for, but I know it's really expensive to buy those. All right. So it looks like we've got lots and lots and lots of freeze-dried aquarium co-op food. I was kind of wondering what happened to that. This is probably not good anymore. Well, maybe the freeze-dried food is. There's one of these that are open right here. That's definitely no good. A reef complete, that's right. I used to have salt water. Uh, we got some Prassy Pro that's pretty much empty. What else do we got in here? Mineralize. Looks like we got some more salt stuff here maybe. Oh no, garlic guard. Unopened. Wow. You can see we've got, uh, what do we got here? Looks like an old schedule of water changes. 28 Maliway, 10 Maliway, 20 Ancestress, 55 gallon rainbow, 20 liter, hmm, 20 liter, 20 long. Tran something. All right. We got some fry planted. Anyways, keeping track of water changes, which is, of course, all wet and dry. And throw that away. Uh, more open food. So we know that's trash. What do we got here? Bob Steenfot, Steenfot Aquatics Retailer. Mary's of Washington Aquatic Experience. Eh trash trash uh iron Ooh, that's actually pretty good i'm gonna keep that throw that in the keep pile uh timer oh kilowatt meter this is what you need if you want to know how much your fish tanks are costing you in power that's actually pretty handy all my awards aquatic horticulturist aquatic horticulturist um novice plant breeder Expert aquatic horticulturist, novice plant breeder, no specific order, obviously. All right, air pump, trash, um, more mineralized. 
Okay. Nothing too exciting. That's trash. All right, so here's our next box. We got a busted uh, overflow here. And I know it's busted because it's leaked on me forever. But I suppose if somebody wanted to fix it, they could. So we might as well save that. You never know. You never know. Uh, Chaos. This is a really good book. If you guys want to nerd out on some science, read this book. National bestseller, Chaos. Maybe I'll reread it. It's been a while. Definitely got to keep this book, though. Uh, it looks like here are the dry erasers that I ordered. I'm down to one. So that's trash, but uh, I'll keep this. Head in the trash bin. These are seashells collected off the beach uh, at some point. I think I got these from my mom. So we'll keep that in case we come across any Lake Tang and Ekans again. Oh, here we go. This was part of a leak, so it's all rusted out, but that can be cleaned up. <laughs> Man, I am seriously like a hoarder, right? Here's a brand new piece for the uh, Marineland 350, the intake. Got to keep that. Battery air pump. Definitely got to keep that. A random bag. Oh, guys, here is a find right here. A brand new Milwaukee CO2 regulator. This thing has never even been opened. Oh, yes, it has. Let's take a look. Actually, I don't think it has been opened. This is looking... Yeah, this is like brand new. Brand new in the box. Okay. We're going to set that one aside. Because we're definitely not getting rid of that. And we're not going to just throw it in a random box. Uh, hang on. Back filter parts. Trash. Trash. Overflow tube. Trash. Some sort of bag. Trash. Here is a CO2 bottle right here. What is this, 24 ounce CO2 bottle? Back when I used to run CO2, we'll keep that. Another hang on back filter. These ones I don't like too much, but still throw it over there. The reason I like to keep this stuff is every time I set up like a, a tanks for teachers or give away a tank, I do come out here and rob pieces like this, like heaters and filters just for that purpose. Um, I have one more sump running, so I'm going to keep those tubes. I do need this. I've actually been looking for that. Good. Another intake. Again, I need to replace that battery. Here are some bags. They're really old, though, so I don't think I want to trust them. Uh, anything else in here that I want? Oh, here is a knife. I think I used this a couple times when I went whitewater rafting and then upgraded. Everything else I think is trash in here. I don't need this impeller. Uh, maybe I do. That might go to one of those on backs. Uh, I do keep these because I already know that this is going to go to one of my LED lights. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep this for sure. I could probably actually use that right now. And then I'm going to keep that hose too because I might use that out in the pond. Keep the cap here. That's always helpful. And everything else is trash. Briefly show you guys a few of the LED lights I found. Uh, really expensive 36 inch Planet Plus here. And then another expensive Phoenix here. This was the really bright one. I think it was the Fuge Ray 2 or something like that. Insanely bright. And then some Odysseys back behind here. So a couple of LED, nice LED lights. Cheap and expensive. All work great. That was a pretty neat little find back here. We've got, oh, a practically empty tank. All right, and it's one of these acrylic ones, which I hope to take advantage of. These are from a pest store that moved and they got all brand new tanks. You can see here that, uh, sorry, we're not for sale. They're probably going under meds. Here are the labels for them. We feed our fish new era. So I think I've got, uh, let's see, so there's three there, one, two, well, two there, three counting this one. I know there's got to be more somewhere, of course, uh, there's one right there, down there. So maybe I got rid of more than I thought. At one point I had about a dozen of them. Look at all those heaters, 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 heaters. 
Oh, we're making progress though. Hey, there's another big hang on back filter right there. Here's some uh, plant trays from when I used to grow my own plants. Uh, this is gonna work out pretty good, I think. Pretty dang good. So the next 10 gallon tank I pulled down had all these sponge filters in it. And actually these are very easy to clean up if you let them soak overnight. You can see most of that's already flaking off right now. If you let that soak overnight, it, this stuff just comes right off. So definitely one that's gonna soak. Oh, I see a cable in here. What, uh, what do we got here? Oh, got a little filter here, that's trash. And I wanna show you guys something that I totally forgot about. This is a custom salt water tank right here. So this was a fresh water tank, just this tank. And the guy I got it from, drilled it out the back, made overflows here, if we can see. This is kind of a little rinky dink stand for it. He set this up as a salt water tank and it worked really great. And he was just, you know, getting out of the hobby, and I got it for free, of course. Not the only way I'd get things around here. So the middle compartment here was for a skimmer, and who knows if I'll ever find the skimmer. Oh, I would probably never set this up as salt anyways. It's too small for me to use as salt. But still a pretty interesting little uh, contraption here. Pretty well done, I'd say. And uh, as you can see, we're getting, uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Three three tanks down here. Still have all the tanks up here to take down, but uh, we're getting there. Making progress. Didn't find anything interesting in this bag here. Plunges, hydro balls. Um, I do actually need this, though. Right here. A little scrubber for anything I find in here. I'll be able to scrub it. Specifically the tanks. Some eco-earth there. Just random just junk. All going away. Not really. I'm going to keep the Hydro Balls and probably the Eco Earth and then everything else is getting tossed. And then we have a brand new Aquion Sump Kit in here. So it's got all of this stuff in here, like 500 Bio Balls. I got this for like $10. What's the price on there? $80. I got it at 90% off when they closed down the store. That's what the red sticker means. 90% off. So how can you pass that up for 10 bucks? And, uh, well, would I rather have 10 bucks or this box that's been sitting here for seven years? Hmm. Probably the 10 bucks. So the next 10 gallon tank has quite a few random stuff in here, like this bag of crushed coral. I'm actually going to keep that in case I do bring in some cichlids. I can just toss that into a 10 or 20 gallon long, African cichlids that is. So we will keep that. It looks like just a bunch of random stuff in here. I don't know what I use these for. I don't remember, but it probably has something to do with growing plants, which is why the bottom is drilled out. That's my guess anyways. Looks like we got another hang on back filter that can be easily cleaned out. See, like I should be just throwing this stuff away. I mean, I clearly haven't used it in forever, but it's fish stuff. I just can't throw it away. Here is like the Phoenix 360. This is a really nice filter. I can't throw that away. It's perfect for nano tanks. I don't even know if I have all the pieces for it, but how can you throw that away? All these miscellaneous pieces. Here's this. This will go with that uh, other hang on back filter we found. Rags. Can we use rags? More. Here you go. More crushed coral in a bag. These are lifter tubes for uh, Hamburg mat filters. We're definitely going to need those in case we go that route. So we'll save all of those. Of course, I'm just taking everything out of these. Of course, I'm just taking everything out of these 10 gallons and throwing it in this 40 gallon. That's all right. I don't think I'll need that tray. Carabiner. I don't like throwing those away. You can always find a use for those. Here we got trash. Here we got a quarter. Huh, getting paid to clean out fish tanks. All right. Looks like we got some dried out Malaysian trumpet snails here, but one more ready to clean. All right, just pulled down this 10 gallon tank. It looks like we got an Aquion 70 here, pump and everything ready to go. I'm sure that still works because those are pretty sweet filters. This is a grow light from when I used to grow my plants, aquatic plants. Thank you very much. A phosphate test kit. Uh, hinge for some reason. I can actually use this hinge, except it's only one side of a hinge. Never mind, that's going to be trash. Trash, 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 trash. 
Looks like we have some instant ocean from back in the salt days. Throw this stuff away. I don't think I'm gonna leave the gravel in here. This is uh, pretty nice gravel, but still, I don't think I'll leave it in here. Maybe I will. So here's a box where we're gonna find a lot of old stuff. This used to be a pretty expensive hang on the back filter. Flubel something, I believe, C4, I don't know. I don't really remember, it's been so long. Looks like we got a red C hang on the back filter here. This stuff, this is what I was talking about when I said we were gonna see some old stuff. Look at this, red C nano filter. We got these weird pump modification kits. Let's pull one of these out. I haven't opened these yet, I'm kind of curious. That's interesting, it's a propeller, but what for? Pump modification, interesting. And there's like four or five of them in here. Maybe maybe some of the old timers will know what that's about because I sure don't. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? Simpsons, the fourth season, back when it was actually good. That's kind of neat. Another hang on back filter. Some more of these crazy modification things. Here's an old school pump. Whisper 600, <laughs> that's really old. Aqua clear box, trash, 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 trash. Another, this is, oh, this is actually an aqua clear. That's a pretty nice one. Animated pet turtle, really swims. Huh, interesting. Hi, and what do we got here? Look at this thing. This is an air pump, wow. All right, so I did just separate these because maybe someone will get a kick out of this. A Hagen Elite 801, an Old School Whisper 400, an Old School Whisper 600, whatever this thing is from Berkeley, California. And then look what else I found. These old, this one is missing the cartridges, but old, old school sponge filtration. Air comes down in here, gets pushed through these two sponge filters here, black one and a white one. Not sure why they're different colors, but all right. But talk about old school filtration get some light on here look at that that is just crazy i might actually keep this and use it just for funsies i don't know probably not <laughs> these i'm throwing away though so all of these are trash let's be real no one's ever going to want these or use them so off to the trash you go i've been kind of playing with this a little bit haven't really found anything i like unfortunately they don't fit three across it's like a half inch too long very disappointing so i'm not really sure the configuration i'm going to go with i do know i want to put a 125 on the bottom maybe not right away maybe i'll put the 90 gallon down there for when i order like 300 of a certain species that would be kind of neat otherwise i haven't really decided what i'm going to do here as far as configuration so i've come to the conclusion that i just have Still, way too many 10 gallon tanks. I'm not gonna start getting rid of them yet because I just don't know how much I'm gonna expand. But yeah, this is about a quarter of them and I just started stacking them back here because there's no need to even clean them all. But what I did notice is all these bars over here, the support bars did not get put on when I built this. So now I have to take everything down and put on these support bars because the last thing I need for a bunch of tanks to go crashing through because the support bar is not on so good thing i found that uh, before anything serious happened so something else i just noticed i'm gonna have to pay attention to when i'm setting them up look my 10 gallons are different sizes one's just a bit taller than the other and that would drive me nuts i'm glad i just noticed that because if i set all these up without noticing that it would drive me crazy absolutely crazy i hope there's someone out there that's with me on that i'd go bonkers All right, everyone, so I know it's only been a couple minutes for you all, but it's been all a day for me. I'm ready to call it quits. I'm filling up uh, 13 tanks right now, and uh, we'll get those cleaned up tomorrow. I know that they don't have to be show tanks, but they do have to be somewhat nice. I mean, they're going to be on camera. You guys are going to be seeing all the fish I'm getting, so I want them to at least look somewhat decent. So it should be a lot of fun. If you stuck around for this whole video, I don't know why. <laughs> it was pretty boring. We didn't even find anything that interesting, but it was still... There is some cool stuff in there, I guess. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys can stay up to date on all the fish I'll be getting and selling and also the progress on these racks back here. And eventually, as we begin to expand, we'll start making like real racks, not just these Costco racks. So 
We've got a lot of work ahead of us, so like I said, make sure you're subscribed and come along for the ride.